Hello everyone, Sigs here, and in this video, I will be showing you how to learn the Rank 6 Claw and Bite abilities from the Silt Crawler and Death Strike Tarantula in the Swamp of Sorrows zone, so that you can teach them to your pet in order to have the highest cat pet damage possible in Phase 2 of the World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. If all you need to know is their locations, then here you go. Otherwise, I will go through step by step everything that you will need to do in order to learn these abilities and then teach them to your pet. First up, if you'd like to keep using the same pet after learning these abilities, then you will need to stable it at a stable master. You can find one in every major city, including the ones shown here. Once you arrive, simply right click to speak to the stable master and then hold left click to drag your current pet into an open stabled pet slot. Next, I will show you how to tame a Death Strike Tarantula to learn the bite ability so that you can teach it to your other pets. They are found wandering in the Swamp of Sorrows around this area of the map. In order to get here, for Horde players, you can take the boat from Ratchet or the Zeppelin from Orgrimmar or the Undercity to reach the Straglethorn Vale Zone. Once you do, follow the road north until you enter the Duskwood Zone. Then. Continue heading north until the road turns to the east and continue following it, being careful to avoid Darkshire and any hostile Alliance players, until you find a gap in the mountains leading you into the Deadwind Pass zone. Then, continue following the road all the way to the east until you enter the Swamp of Sorrows and reach the Horde town of Stonard. From here, we're going to head out east into this area to look for a Death Strike Tarantula. We have to find one that is level 40, not level 41, because you cannot tame pets that are a higher level than you are. Once you locate one, I would recommend making sure that it is in a safe area where nothing else will attack you, and then placing down a freezing trap to make taming it a little easier. Hit it with a non-damage overtime ability if it is not already within a 30-yard range, and then cast the Tame Beast ability while it is targeted. Wait for the channel to finish, and then you'll have your new spider pet. In order to teach this ability to your cat or any other pets, we will need the spider to use it in combat until we learn it for our beast training. If bite is already on your pet bar and has a glowing gold border, then the spider will automatically use this ability whenever possible. If not, you can right click the ability on the pet bar or in the spellbook in order to activate the automatic usage. If you'd prefer, you could also manually click this ability or assign a keybind for it. Either way, have your spider attack an enemy and use the Bite ability. Every time it bites, there is a chance to learn rank 6 of Bite. This could happen on the first attack or it could take a very long time. It is totally random, so just keep your spider alive with Mend Pet if needed and have it keep biting away until you see this text appear in your chat box. After that, you can confirm that you've learned this ability by opening your beast training window and ensuring that Bite Rank 6 is listed. Once you're sure that you have learned the ability, we are done with this pet, and you can get rid of it by right-clicking on its nameplate, selecting Abandon, and then clicking OK. Next up, we will need to find and tame a Silt Crawler in order to learn the Rank 6 Claw ability. They can be found in either of these locations along the shore to the east of this zone. Starting off from where we just found our tarantula, you can head east through the swamp until you reach the shore. Just be careful for any enemies wandering about, especially the elites near the sunken temple. Once you reach the shore, you should start finding silt crawlers all over in this area. Just remember that you will have to find one that is level 40 as you cannot tame pets that are a higher level than you are. I wasn't actually able to find one down here, so I had to head north to check the other spawn points. Just watch out for the murlocs that are all over this beach as they can be a bit nasty to deal with. Check around this area too, and eventually you should find a level 40 silt crawler. I happen to find mine here at 88, 21. Just like before, you can place a freezing trap to make this a little easier. But either way, cast Tame Beast and wait for the channel to finish, at which point you will have tamed your new crab pet. You can once again open your spellbook and go to the pet tab to confirm that this pet knows rank 6 of claw, and then just like we did with the spider, have your crab use the ability in combat until you learn it. 
Again, this can happen quickly or take a very long time. Just keep your pet alive and keep at it until you see this in your text box. Once you do, you can confirm that you've learned the ability in your beast training window and then abandon the crab if you don't want to keep it. Lastly, in order to have a cat pet use these abilities, either tame one that you would like or return to a stable master to reclaim your existing pet by dragging it from the stable slot to the current pet slot. Then open the beast training window and you should see the bite and claw rank 6 abilities. As long as your pet is the appropriate level, level 40 in this case, and you have enough training points, then you can teach your pet these abilities by clicking the ability in the list and then clicking the train button at the bottom of this window. My cat is still only level 39, so I will have to level it up a bit in order to do so, but once I do, my pet will be using the two best in slot damaging abilities for phase 2, and I hope that this video helped you to do so as well. Enjoy having access to these powerful abilities and have a great day.